Hey, good top of the morning to you whosoever. This is a Facebook little message. Uh, did Jesus ever claim to be God? When Jesus came to C Caesar Philippi, he asked the disciples the mother of all questions. Who do you, who do you say I am? He did this in uh, Matthew chapter 16, verse 15, and Luke chapter 9, verse 12, and Mark chapter 8, verse 29. So the question is, who do you think Jesus is? You know, the Mormons believe that that Jesus is the spirit brother, brother of Lucifer. The Jehovah Witnesses believe, uh, again, answer that Jesus is the, is the archangel Michael. New Agers say Jesus is the avatar or the enlightened messenger. Jesus, however, answered by claiming that he was God. First, Jesus claimed to be the unique son of God. As a result, the Jewish leaders tried to kill him. Because in calling God his father, Jesus was making himself equal with God. John chapter 5 verse 18. In, in which God revealed himself to Moses from the burning bush. Exodus chapter 3 verse 14. To the Jews this was the epitome of blasphemy. For they knew that doing so Jesus was clearly claiming to be God. Uh, on yet another occasion Jesus explicitly told the Jews... I and the Father are one. Again, the Jews picked up some stones and tried to kill him. But Jesus said to them, I have known you many I have shown you many great miracles from the Father. For which of these do you stone me? We are not stoning you for any of these, replied the Jews, but for the blasphemy because you, a mere man, claim to be God. John chapter 10, verse 30 through 33. Furthermore, Jesus made an unmistakable claim to deity before chief priest at the whole Sanhedrin. Caiaphas, the high priest, asked him, Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed One? I am, said Jesus, and you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the Mighty One, of God the Father, coming in the clouds of heaven. Mark chapter 14, verse 61 through 62. A biblical, illiterate person might well have missed the importance of Jesus' words. Caiaphas and the council, however, did not. They knew that the saying that he was the Son of Man who would come at the, on the clouds of heaven. But he was making an overt reference to the Son of Man in Daniel's prophecy, chapter 7, verse 13 through 14. And in doing so, he was only claiming to be the pre-existent sovereign of the universe, but prophesying that he would vindicate his claim by judging the very court that was now condemning him. Moreover, by combining Daniel's prophecy with David's proclamation in Psalm 110, Jesus was claiming that he would sit upon the throne of Israel's God and share God's very own glory. Again, guys, to students of the Old Testament, this was the height of blasphemy. Thus, they all condemned him as worthy, worthy to death. So, did Jesus claim to be God? Yes, he did. Finally, Jesus claimed to possess the very attributes of God. For example, he claimed omni, 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 omnipotence by telling Peter, This very night, before the rooster crows, you shall disown me three times. He declared omnipotence by not only resurrecting Lazarus, John, John chapter 11, but also raising himself from the dead, John chapter 2, and professed, Omnipresence by promising he would be with his disciples to the very end of the age. Matthew 28, verse 20. Not only so, but Jesus said to, to the paraplegic in Luke chapter 5, verse 20, Friend, your sins are forgiven. In doing so, he claimed the pre, pre-erogative reserved for God alone. In addition, when Thomas worshipped Jesus, saying, My Lord, my God, John chapter 20, verse 28, Jesus responded, with commendation rather than condemnation. Jesus says in Revelation chapter 1, verse 17 through 18, I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead, and behold, I live forever and ever. So again, guys, don't just believe Jesus is a piece of bread. Jesus is a Lucifer's brother. Don't believe that Jesus is a, only a, an enlightened one or an avatar. Jesus is God, and he's coming back to rule and reign, and 
uh, in doing so, you know, may you accept his death on the cross, the shedding of blood uh, for propitiation to pay your debt um, as, uh, again, the church age is coming to an end. You need to make that decision. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.